People have the idea that language must be very simple because they speak a language. They, uh, uh, how hard can it be? I, I do it without even thinking about it. As human beings, we are completely unconscious of the vast majority of the computations that our brain is performing. In my lab, we're interested in connecting up milestones of language development with the milestones of neurodevelopment. We also get a great deal of information from children. We want to get the right description of exactly what the stages are that the child is going through. Children by five get really, really complex sentences. But children are bad with sentences in the passive voice until much later, around seven to nine years of age. And that's pretty late. So when you have something like, Grover was hugged by Sally, we know that in that sentence as adults, Sally is the one that hugged Grover. So what is it about passive that is making it really difficult for children to show us that they're good at the sentence. This experiment is called a truth value judgment task. It's a way to test um, children's knowledge of grammatical constructions. So we present a story uh, to the child and simultaneously to a, a puppet watching along with the child. At the end of the story, the puppet gets to say something about what happened in the story. And the child's job is to say whether the puppet got it right or said something silly. I will give you a hug to cheer you up. Hug. Gobu, can you tell me something about that story? Sally was hugged by Grover. Sally was hugged by Grover. Was he right or was he being silly? He was right. He was right. Good job, Gobu. What I would really like to show with this experiment is that there are certain aspects of the experiment that you can manipulate to show that children really do have this grammatical knowledge. It's a really good baseline, so when you have children with language delay or some sort of language impairment, we have something to compare it to. The field of linguistics has made huge strides in understanding exactly what you're really doing when you speak your native language. As a field, our goal is to figure out how does our brain interpret language and how do we learn language? And I think that's really awesome. It makes me feel very fulfilled in the research that I do.